Hey guys, it's BoxPro. Welcome back to another video. Today in Fallout 76, I'm going to be talking about how to get circuitry. I'm going to go over uh, two locations that you can loot, and then I'm going to go ahead and link a bunch of other methods like usual in the description and a link to a Google Doc that'll have more information about all other sorts of resources. All right, so our first location is gonna be the White Spring. So we're gonna go ahead and TP to the White Spring Resort. Okay, so now that we've arrived at the White Spring, we're actually gonna be going inside the resort itself. So we're gonna go ahead and loot the interior. Uh, before I go inside though, I just wanna list off what we should be finding. Uh, we're gonna be able to find 18 telephones inside the White Spring Resort. So let's go ahead and go inside. Okay, and the 18 telephones are gonna be all around the inside of the White Spring. I'll just kind of show you guys a couple examples. Uh, the server is missing their telephones. All right, here we go. So on these desks, I went ahead and server hopped and you can always server hop at this location multiple times to collect 18 telephones over and over again. So each telephone gives uh, one circuitry. So you can get 18 circuitry from this one location and then keep farming it over and over. And you pretty much wanna look for the desks Oops, bad clipboard's not too bad. But yeah, you want to go to the desks like this, telephones. Here we go, another telephone. So I just want to mention that the telephones don't seem to be at any of the vendor regions. They're mostly at the actual White Spring, like, desks and, like, offices. So yeah, you pretty much want to look around White Spring and collect all the telephones that you can. And they're going to tally up to a total of 18. So the next spot that we can go ahead and head to is going to be the National Isolated Radio Array. Let me go ahead and read off what we are going to be able to find there. We should be able to find 11 telephones, one military grade circuit board, and one hot plate. So each telephone is one circuit, the military grade is two circuits, and then a hot plate. So yeah, that's going to be a decent amount as well. Let me go ahead and showcase this location. All right, let's go ahead and head inside. So the White Springs is gonna be a bit of a peaceful location, whereas uh, this location is gonna probably have a super mutant spawn. And right here on these desks, we can see there's a telephone, grab that. This is actually a pretty good location for screws too, as there's a lot of fans and and antique globes and typewriters. But if you're here for just the circuitry, then you pretty much wanna just look for the telephones and the hot plate, and then there's gonna be a uh, circuit board as well. And right here, is gonna, there's a hot plate, and this is actually outside. Um, it's still technically the location, but just wanna let you know that some things are gonna be in this building, and then this is where the hot plate was. Um, but yeah, so you pretty much wanna go ahead and loot around this area, and you can gather all the circuitry you need, and there's also some screws. So, uh, just to review really quick, interior of White Springs, lots of telephones, and the National Isolated Radio Array, lots of telephones, a circuit board, and a hot plate. The last method I do want to mention is killing robots. Uh, sentry robots, assault trons, and like turrets will spawn or will die with um, circuitry in their inventory. And a good way to farm robots is actually going to a silo, going inside a silo, and then instead of like doing the nuke run and completing it, you actually just wait for the infinite spawns of robots um, and you just farm them out that way. I personally have not been in a silo yet, nor do I think I can because I haven't progressed through the quest line enough. So I can't necessarily demonstrate that, but if you are able to do that yourself, then you can pretty much sit in a silo from the robots. And yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. Any positive or negative feedback, also let me know. That way I can improve. And I'll see you guys in the next one.